are you in the fridge? Hello? I'm Rob, aka Tunk, or Arba. This is my leveling up video. Hope you enjoy it. See you on the stream, and stay out of my fridge. Mind, if, I, if, I, if I quickly make a coffee, will anyone be opposed to that? Oh. Is that a, a coffee? <laughs> it is a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I see a bottle of Tullamore. I see a bottle of Tullamore Dew up top that will not go into the coffee. <laughs> I'll just put the kettle on. I'll be straight back so we can record. Oh, I want to make a hard coffee. High jinx. High I want to go things. make a coffee now as well. Oh, let's make oh, a coffee, guys! Come on! Coffee. Come on, guys! Okay, get another one. Do you want one, Gabs? <laughs> Gabby's like, no, I, I'm here to work. <laughs> so, let's have a look at Arba. So, do you want to use the character Mansa? It might be a bit easier. Yeah. Yes, I All do. Right. So, yeah, Roll20 has a character Mansa, which makes things a lot easier, uh, especially Click. for level one. Click it. I honestly Welcome. don't know what I'm going to do when I come to play D&D &D, like, at a table with dice, because I've only uh, experienced Roll20. Don't even. We... Oh, I, I still use Roll20 even at a table. Really? Yeah. It is easier, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, a mate of mine had a, a, a monitor in the middle of the table. And so you could see the map in the middle of the table. That was really nice. I, mean, I want to get one of those tables that have like an L L LCD screen that is the table. Yeah. Mm. Seeing like yeah, Kickstarter that. stuff where like the map is digital on the table. It looks so cool. We'll get to that. You can make them really easily. But not inexpensively, I imagine. No, you could. You get an old get an old monitor, put plastic off, build a wooden spray around the side, put a little thing for your HDMI. Bosh, done. Okay, Gabs. We're no longer watching television in a normal way. Anybody watching it? <laughs> from Gabs parents, Gabs Gabs you. Brilliant. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll do what I normally do and watch Real Housewives of Orange County in my room on my own. It's okay. <laughs> and literally, Rob's going, yeah, that can be. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing I was looking at was, um, was smart whiteboards. <gasps> because then you could press your finger on it and move your character and stuff. Oh, yeah. that'd be sick. That, that would, be, would cool. be so cool. God, we're such nerds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. So, let's and have here a look we are. At Welcome to Character Mancer. Character Mancer um, on Roll20. Uh, I'm going to say that you can skip this first page. Nothing matters on that first page. <laughs> um, oh, there's Customize Your Origin. That's a new one. Yeah, so this is because of Tasha. It's just Tasha's, yeah. Yeah, so you're oh, able to cool. kind of reassign different things and stuff like that. So if you want to do that, we can. I'm really up for it. I mean, human doesn't really make any difference. Human but... doesn't really change much, does it? Yeah. But the other rest of you guys, if you essentially what this means is that you can change your ability scores, so you don't have to go with the race. Ah. Uh, mm. um, so orcs don't have like a minus two in intelligence. Yeah. So, so, for good. instance, Baggy, as a half orc, you could just go, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to have more intelligence and strength because that's what I want to be. Amazing. Yeah. So maybe we do that. Should we see what happens when we do it with a human? Because I have no idea what it does with a human one. Let's try it. Alignment. So what do you reckon alignment-wise do you think? I think that... I mean, everyone that I usually play as is kind of chaotic neutral because it just gives me license to be flip-flopping around the morality spectrum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he not evil? Arbor? <sighs> Just right out there. I don't think so. I think that the road to hell is paved with good intentions, Joe. All right, then. Let's get chaotic neutral, then. Does whatever they want. For whatever flimsy reason. Yeah. Actually, I, I think... think you'd be more lawful evil. Oh, lawful neutral. Because you have a code. All right, let's try that. You have a code, I and think that, that you're code right. is, yeah, yeah. is honour, but you do whatever you want, but within that honour. I, I agree with that. Okay, so let's have a Good. look. So, languages, what do you want to speak? Um, let's see my options here. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking about what language would he come into contact with if he spent most of his life in Waterdeep. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably picked up languages to do with like uh, ease of trade. 
Um, so probably a lot of stuff where it comes to like the docks, especially if he's involved in the redistribution of illegal contraband. Um, what kind of ships are coming over? Um, yeah. So I'm. I'm trying to figure out what what language um, uh, Dragonborn speak because you've been with, draconic. Um, yeah, I think no dracon is draconic it. I suppose it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's draconic. Yeah, because you've been with Snug. Yeah. So that's my thought. That's true. But, but I don't know. It's up to you. I mean. I always find when play with when choosing languages for a character that it's a real shot in the dark in terms of when they're going to come up use in useful or when they're going to be useful in a campaign when you're suddenly like oh fuck right I turned out that I speak crowl <laughs> <laughs> like I've, I've never I always try and think what kind of characters are going to be in this campaign and what could be useful and they never come up. Yeah, it was like I was, too, I was chatting with Bevins, Heavens Bevins, about making a because I'm doing a one a single solo campaign for her, and she was like, it's like we're all trying to choose languages she like this. Oh my god, I was like, literally, pick them. I'll either fuck you over for it, or I, <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, so this is going to be um, using the variant or standard. I kind of think I think that variant is almost cheating. I kind of see yeah. it as. I agree. Um, and also, because we've done the commoner all the way up to level one, I get a feat anyway. Yeah, you do. And you go to, I think they said level two, but I'm going to put you as level one, but you get a feat anyway. Cool. Um, I wonder now that with, if I don't choose variant, will I be allowed to choose a feat or will I have to drag yeah, and drop we, a feat in? We'll, we'll just drag and drop a feat in. So all right, that's sweet. Thing. Standard human. Okay, so look. So what they do, what's it done down here? Because this is the new... The custom at the bottom is oh, done this. Oh, hello. Um, right, ability in there, ability score increase. Um, so I guess you get to. Well, for me, I would say the maximum you can do is a plus two. To yeah. Something. But if you do a plus two, it means you have to do a minus one somewhere else. Yeah. Because or or a zero somewhere else because you would usually get plus one or cross right. Mm hmm. Right, okay. So you could do like uh, charisma, charisma. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking charisma, charisma. Let's see if it let you do it. No, no it doesn't. doesn't. Okay, so it, it doesn't make any difference then with humans. So we can go back up and tick that off by the looks of things. Unless cool. we just go through and just choose one of each. Let's do that. Let's just do all one of each because it might give you something, something extra. Because uh, I just I haven't not ticked that button yet to see what it does. Um, so I'm quite interested to see what this, this button does. There we go, great. Cool. Okay. All right, next. We're nexting. Okay, class. Choose a class. Bard. Ah, we all thought you were a bard. Yep, okay. No surprise there. Skill proficiencies. God, you get so many things. Bards are literally just like... Acrobatics, why not? Huh? That'll be fun. <laughs> um, I think deception. That's a big mm -hmm. one. I think I'm going to go performance. Yeah, man. I love a performance check. And I'm going to say intimidation. Okay. So you're going that way instead of persuasion. And there you were there going, I'm not evil. Right. And they've taken lies, pretending to be truthful and being lies <laughs> and intimidatingly talented. That's <laughs> what I've gone for. Cool. <clears throat> Tool proficiencies. So you get quite a few tools. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, oh this is where it gets exciting. Is there mouth trumpet on here anywhere? <laughs> um, <laughs> flute? <laughs> Horn. Horn. There you go. <laughs> if you if you take bagpipes, I will kill your character the next session. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. I mean, who would do that? Who would be who would be so cruel as to choose bagpipes? Captain. What about a long horn? <laughs> long what about horn. A long horn. I'm just imagining okay. it like, like do, 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 do. yeah. Do, do, do. Uh, great. <laughs> so we song could horn. We could say it was what like a, a song yeah, horn. Yeah, yeah. What is a song what's horn? A, what's a song horn? Right. It doesn't say. <laughs> a song horn. Never oh, it's it. like a recorder. 
Oh, amazing. <laughs> yes, he picked it up in school and never dropped it. Yeah, it's a fucking recorder. Or a... <laughs> oh my god, it is. It is just a recorder. <coughs> um, I think I want to go for a horn or a longhorn. Mm -hmm. And if we can, if we can, uh... what's a sh what's a schwam? Oh, a sh a schwam? Schwam? Is that like is that like schwam? Schwam. I love a schwam. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what these things are. So if, if people can furiously Google, so... oh, a schwam is like a reeded <laughs> instrument. Oh, you know, it's like long. um, almost like an oboe. Like yeah. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Daniel, your microphone is is very low. Your your volume is it's very low. Just to let you know. Is it better now? Well, That's now. much yes. better, yeah. yeah I, just, I value better. the things that you have to say. Oh, thanks. Uh, what's a Zulkun? It's a... Uh, I looked it up just then when I was very quiet. It's like... It's almost like a loot, I think. Well, there's two different pictures. There's... Oh, they're the ones that you turn. Like a, It's got like a handle on it that does... Oh, that. sick! And then it's you like hold that. the buttons. That's oh, that cool. That's another one. That yes, is. I've seen a couple of different gosh, ones. that is. I'm thinking about what's awkward to carry around because, that, as much as I, I want to it... choose a war gong. Um, <laughs> okay. Hold on. Right, let me just get my war gong out. <laughs> <laughs> we also have this big thing. Um, <laughs> I actually think uh, the um, the Zoltune is almost like it's like an armpit set of bagpipes. I've got a couple of different pictures here, and they're like you stick it, you stick instead of blowing, you like pump it under your arm and then play the thing here. Wow! Kind of like bagpipes cool. meets accordions. Oh yeah, I seen that one as well. Right. Well, I'm going to go for horn, longhorn, and uh, hand drum. Nice. All right. Like this has become like the most important decision. This and is. Think and the thing is, you're going to end up with a million because most of the tool proficiencies and then all of the equipment, you end up like that's how Datsa ended up with 90,000 uh, uh, instruments in his bag because it was like, yeah. okay, oh, there's another option. There's right. another option. I'm going to try and go with things that I can realistically try and make a similar sound with my mouth. Oh. <laughs> so, hands from horn and longhorn. Also, I think we found Arbor's nickname. <laughs> He's got the longhorn. Old longhorn. Well, that means something else, doesn't it? They've, they've got bird pipes underneath the bagpipes, like the little, like, watery, whistly... <laughs> 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 you like imagine taking that. Oh. Yeah, well, imagine if you took if you took Bard and then dipped into Ranger, and then you could do, like, duck hunting. Yeah, oh, that'd be so sick. <laughs> or just charm all the Aarakocras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so good. All right, so you got Bardic Inspiration. Bardic Inspiration, yeah. Yeah. So I'll be able to give Inspiration a D6 to my fellow companions Ooh. to Ooh. aid them uh, in a bit, any ability check, attack roll, or saving throw that it makes. Within the next 10 minutes. I didn't, ten know, minutes. That. I didn't know it was within, within 10 minutes. That's quite good to know. That's great. Yeah, that's that is good to know. Yeah. You can use this a number of times equal to your charisma modifier. That's good. Get then faster. It's a long rest. And it goes up to a D8 at 5th level, D10 at 10th level, D12 at 5th. That's fucking sick. Yeah. Mm. I think also sick. after a certain level, you regain them on a short rest. Yeah. Oh, get out. Get out of town. And this is why bards are awesome. Right. I think I'm done here. All right. Sesti next. Oh, it's okay. roll time. Here we go. This is the bit okay. where, we just, where you just fuck it up royally. I mean, screw it up royally. Just going to go for custom and uh, <laughs> give oh, Here's a good 18s. point, actually. Do, do we want to do stats roll? I think we should do stats roll. Oh, stats we have to do roll. stats roll. Yeah. We have to do stats roll. Yeah. Right. That's, that's the luck of the draw. All right. Let's see what happens. Hold on. Let, me, right. just make this, let me just make this screen a bit bigger so that we can see what it turns into. I am genuinely excited. Right. Okay. Pray for me. Have <laughs> <laughs> lazy luck. One, one, one. Oh, not bad. Not that's bad. not bad. You got a good one on. You've got something that's below ten. I always think there should be something below ten. Well, I can drop the lowest, so that's. Oh no! Oh, no. no you... Sorry, pardon me. Pardon me. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Mis miscommunication. So I got the, a dump I mean, stat. You got dump stat. You got quite a few that. Yeah, everything's got a plus one. So you've got at least two plus threes, two plus twos, one plus one, and one minus one. So, for instance, okay. 
like yeah so you could do 16 on the charisma which 16 to 17, is gonna go into charisma yeah mm -hmm. and that would turn to 17. you've also yeah. got the 15 which would turn into a 16. okay so what do you think it would be i mean you you seem to have got yourself out of trouble a few times but you're also a big drinker so mm. is it a constitution, constitution or, a, or a dex yeah you're a huge drinker and you seem to get beaten up a lot i t yeah let's my mouth is going to get me into trouble, I think. So let's stick or, that. Out. Or is it a wisdom thing? Are you like hugely street smarts, be able to kind of use your wisdom? It's worth thinking about. Like, what type of bard are you? I haven't even looked at these sub, uh, the subclasses for bard at all. I know the names of them, but I don't know what they do yet. So yeah, we get to that later. Yeah, I mean, there are there are some some of the colleges that are tougher than. Uh, you know, that are stand and fight bards. Yeah, so a, like so the, a icon um, could. Uh, what's it called? The blades, guys. It's called a blade. It's called a blades. Valor. Of swords. Oh yeah, swords. Know. Swords and valor. I think are both sort of like yeah, stand, stand and fight rather than. Yeah. Like, they're full I casters. think, I'm gonna go. The fourteens are gonna go into wisdom and dex. Nice. The. I'm gonna dump strength. Yeah, I, I think. think. So. Um, give a 12 for wisdom and dump strength. Nice. Because who needs to carry things, you know? So let's have a look, see what he scores are. Oh, oh pardon me. that looks great. 9, 15, 16. Healthy. 15, 13, 17. That's really healthy. That's a really healthy start. That's pretty decent. <laughs> right, this is our look. Background. It's got Backgrounds. a criminal in it. I'm really yeah. sorry, this just has to be criminal. No, I, I had I had criminal <laughs> as my background when we were commoners anyway, so that is uh that makes sense for me. Oh, so that means I'm gonna have to change my proficiency from deception. Nice. So let me, me just you go. take persuasion instead then. Let me just go back to class, I think. Why is that is that because you would like pretty much already get that anyway, like as a yeah. free Okay. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. The background um determines what extra proficiencies you get, so um so I'll change deception into Persuasion, I guess. It's up to you. Mm, or sleight of hand. Ooh. I think I'm going to go sleight of hand because stealing, innit? You know? In it, do. In it, do. Okay. Right. So, criminal. Right. So, you get deception, stealth, you get thieves' tools, always great. And you get <laughs> something else to play. So do you think of them as a chess player, dice player, dice card player. player, dice player? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a nice bit of meta gaming we can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Criminal specialty. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Easy. Okay. He's the fence. Yeah, he's a fencer for sure. Personality right. traits. Um, to you. We can roll these if you like, but I think we already kind of know who our characters are. I agree with you. Um, so I don't think we need them, but if you want to just roll it and see what it comes up with, just for funsies. Yeah, go on. Let's funsies it. Right, Skadoosh. So yes! Blow up at the slightest yeah. insult. <laughs> so maybe we can add these in. I mean, that's fairly true, actually. I think um, that's pretty true. Let's roll another one. Boosh. Uh, the best, the best way, way to tell me to do something is to tell me I can't do it. Yep, that's probably quite true. Wow. Actually, these, these are becoming are... quite useful. <laughs> these, are uh, these are, yeah, these are fairly on the nose. Ideal. Let's see what that is. Honor, don't. What the fuck? This is mad. <laughs> 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 this is bizarre. Okay, Bond. My ill-gotten gains go to support my family. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is my backstory. Um, and flaw. Well, there's no flaws, so they won't be able to do anything here. An innocent person is in prison for a crime I'm committed. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that's... <laughs> I'll stick that in. Cool. Um, and you got yourself or that's clothes. something for me to work towards. Uh, something for um, Baxter Backelright. Yeah, I think you yeah. better Backelright. All right. Oh, right. Or is, it, is this something for later? Yeah, this is the thing. Let's this move will forward. go away for your murder of. Well, wow. Mm. It's possible. <laughs> uh, I get a crowbar, dark everyone, common code. Everyone knows, everyone knows yeah. you killed them, Rob. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> The watchers, the watchers could be listening. Um, the watchers could be, that's such a great way of putting it. The watchers could be listening. <laughs> <laughs> They're not really into watching. <laughs> it's, an, it's an ironic title. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's to yeah, throw you off. Owl, owl based. 
the clock makers. Mm. <coughs> uh, right, I think we're done here. Get a cr crowbar. Yep. That's going to come nice. in handy. Very nice. I'm nexting. And about. All right. How are we choosing the equipment? So here's something I have, I think, got wrong on several occasions. Um, the class equipment, if you choose this one, mm -hmm. um, then any of your starting wealth that is usually associated with your character is has been spent on this. Yeah. So like, if my class is barred, sometimes that comes with you get five times. I still, go, I still give the gold. Yeah, just because I was confused about this, because I was like, well, then if you get the starting gold, then that's the gold that you would spend on your equipment if you were buying it. I just always I give the gold as well. Grant, I mean, cool. Happy with this. So what do you want? Rapier or a long sword or any other simple weapon? Um, what's his style? What well, I you're not strength. You're not strength based. Yeah, dex then for a rapier, I guess. Oh, yeah, shit. so it's probably going to have to be a rapier. Or a dagger. A dagger. I mean, we're going to have to have a dagger. You have to have a dagger. Yeah, that's it then, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, right. Diplomats or entertainers pack? Ah, he's entertainers pack. He's entertaining, yeah. <laughs> that means another min instrument. <laughs> All right, here we go. This old <laughs> chestnut again. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um... Pan flute, because we need a bit more pan flute in our life. <laughs> I'm just imagining some of these weapons become like, uh, some of these uh, instruments become found weapons. So, like the longhorn just, he just pulls it out. Swat it. <laughs> pan flute it. full of poison darts. Yeah. Good. <laughs> 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 uh, good. Next thing. Okay, spells. Cantrips. Here we go. This is where it gets exciting. So you get two cantrips and four spells. That's four, yeah. Four below. Yeah. Um, right. What do I want to spam? Message. <laughs> I want to be inside your heads as much as possible. This is mockery. It's got to be. Sapping yeah. Sting is also really cool. Minor Illusion, though. Oh, I have loads of fun with Minor Illusion. I always, for me, I usually say something useful, something painful. Hmm. <laughs> That's for me, though. But I don't know how you want to play it. How far is message? 120 feet? I think, um, like, like, Vicious Mockery is good in terms of, like, battle mechanics and things. Like, just the, the fact that you can impose disadvantage is great. Um... But I think I think I agree with you, Rob. Like you're you're so good at coming up with creative ways of using like illusionary spells. Yeah. That you might even be able to. Yeah, I just I just like to try and fuck with people. Mm. There's also things like is I mean, true strike is another one. I mean, you think your major role is a buffer and debuffer. Yeah. So being able to kind of give advantage to things, being able to disadvantage people. Hmm. hmm. What? Let's see what Vicious Mockery does. All right. I mean, our resident um, bard expert, Dan. That's Cass. You unleash a string of insults. I mean, this yeah. is already this is appealing to me. Oh yeah, because I mean, like, um, Dan, you've been playing a bard for nine levels now, haven't you? Yeah. Um. A which one was it? A glamour bard. Um. Mm. And yeah, Vicious Vicious Mockery is great, especially if you get the option of like. I think on on occasion, Joel say to me like, "And what is it that you say to this creature?" <laughs> so you just get to throw shade at uh, at random monsters and then hopefully <laughs> impose them on disadvantage, and the and the the meager damage does stack as well. Like I'm up to two d four now. Um, it's not a huge amount in comparison to like a real damage giver, but it's like it's that's nice cantrip effect. though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Sweet. So one to get inside your head, friendly. One to get inside your head and really break you down emotionally. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, have a, let's have a look at some spells. Right. Charm person done. Yeah. Charm person's great, especially as it's. Oh, stand. there it is. There's our favourite one. Oh, command. Oh, Jesus Christ! There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. How could I? How could I forget? Oh, now you've got a lot of great ones here. <clears throat> yeah. Might take unseen servant. Yeah. Quite I think, one. I think quite that's a few more now. That's quite a. Uh, yeah. 
So there's a few more because of Tasha. Mm. Um, you've also got a few more because I think they've opened up some of the things that you can do, like um, the gift of old gritty. Like I, th- I think that one was that's something new. Yeah. Before magnified gravity is a new one. Yeah. Fairy Disney Fire was, is great. Was brilliant. Fairy yeah, Fire is Disney fantastic. Is great. Fairy Fire is actually fantastic for everybody else. For everybody yeah. else, except for oh, as in because it gives them advantage. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Which for like Gabby is going to be huge. It's going to be very important. Yeah. Distort a... value is a fantastic little spell. What's distort value? So this is an acquisitions incorporated spell. Um, you squeeze a few more gold pieces out of a merchant. <laughs> Oh my god. That's so good. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so That's much perfect. Bullshit. I mean, this is Arbor all over, isn't it? Yeah. It's doubling the subjects and uh, the value of the thing. <laughs> oh, that's oh, so my good. Days. I think as well looking at it looking at it mechanically, your your two other spells are non-concentration, so you could have like a fairy fire to concentrate and then hit a charm person or a command and still keep yeah. that fairy fire up if you so wanted. It's true. That's one right. thing that I've struggled with barding is a lot of the spells are concentration. So I'm really working hard now to almost like backwards engineer my earlier spells to get less concentration spells. So I can yeah. Do things. Yeah, because I've got no concentration so far. So I think yeah. give myself a cut. Because these are almost all utility based or oh, like yeah. social based. I can use command aggressively, which I intend to. But I think now is to take something like fairy fire, as I reckon. Help y'all out. Help y'all. All All right, okay, so we've got message, vicious mockery, charm person, command, distort value, fairy fire. Nice. He's just trying to run cons, I think, by that. That sounds good to me. Um, Useless in combat, I'm sure I'll find myself, but here we are. (laughs) Depends what you'd consider useful, though. I'm a lover, not a fighter. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Right, we're nexting. So it'd be like, Abba. Mr. Loverman. <laughs> I want like the shaft theme. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> uh, right. So we'll stick. A, we'll stick the feet in, which is lucky, which I already have from the commoners. So we'll do that yeah. later on. Yeah. Io, change Darn. that to Arbor. Arbor Killick. Little fun fact: Arbor and Killick, those two separate words, are both names for knots. So I got the name. You're not Thanks, not. Yeah, because he was raised <laughs> in the dockyard. Yeah. Very good. Very oh, good. he's really old. <laughs> <laughs> he's an old boy. <laughs> isn't, he eight, isn't he? So he's way older than everybody else. I thought he was around eighteen as well, but no, cool. <clears throat> no, I I see him as I see him as older. Otherwise, like, she's had a heavy smoker life if he's, you are going. <laughs> Only fourteen. <laughs> 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 I definitely remember kids like that in my school and college, though. Oh, 100%. Okay, so you could, you could probably fill this bit out a little bit later on, right? Because have you ever done um, the height and weight um, modifiers? Uh, no, I've never... The only time I've ever really noticed that having an effect is... Um, oh, it's brilliant, because it means it's going to give you something that's out of your control. It's like you could be a little bit t- more tubby than you think you are, or a little bit oh, smaller I... than you think you are. Yeah. So let me let me have a quick look. Um, so height. I think he's got a bit of a belly on him, if I'm honest. Eyes. I'm gonna say a, a piercing green. <laughs> okay. So human is yeah. height flawless. Even <laughs> not stirred. So your base height is four for eight, and then if you roll two d ten. Say that again. My base height is eight. No, your base height is four point. That's uh, four foot eight. Right. But you roll a two d ten and you add that to it. Two d ten, and that's the number of inches you add. Yeah. Nine. So four point eight. How many inches in a foot? Twelve. Twelve. So you're five five. <laughs> All right, little Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. Love it. I see him as stocky. You yeah. right. <laughs> your weight. <laughs> Is uh, hundred and wow base weight is a hundred and ten pounds. 
and then you do 2d4. Is this times? Well, I don't understand what that means. Three, I got. So 110 times three. 330, no. 330 pounds. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. Uh, it might be. <laughs> tank. Little singing tank. <laughs> unless, it's ten, unless it's 10 times 2d4, two, two because that would make sense. Because then you'd be 140 pounds, oh. which is still quite tubby. <laughs> All right, cool. 140. Wow. LBS. Yeah. So that be 110, 110 pounds, plus 10 times 2d4, which you did 3, so that's plus 30 pounds, so it's 140 pounds. I mean, that's perfect. I don't know how, I do you know how big that is. That's that's quite, I don't know, what, how big is that? I don't 140 think pounds, I think that's actually that's like quite 12. little. That's, that's like 10 12. stone. Oh, it's light. Right, so, so we've done, so something else is wrong here. Because you can't be three. It can't be three hundred and thirty pounds, right? Yeah, only ten stone. But if, yeah, three hundred thirty would be so ginormous. Three hundred thirty pounds. But, would the, but be then again, we are twenty-three in like a, stone. Maybe he's a bit. Maybe he's a bit malnourished. What's 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 thirteen stone in pounds? Let's let's make him thirteen stone and five foot five. Yeah, let's do 182. that. One eight two. One eight two. All right, let's go with that. So he's a bit. He's, Shit he's... brown eyes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Let's go next one. Never moisturized. <laughs> uh, next. Right, we're done, I think. So, yep. race is human, standard human, bard, abilities. We'll find out. Nice. Criminal background, equipment, spells, feats. I'll, I'll stick in. <laughs> I'll stick in the feats uh, after I've stopped sharing. Um, yep. Put in lucky. Let's apply the changes. Skidoosh. Nice. It's building. It's building. Assembling arbor. <laughs> I'll just get the ship round. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, there we go. Arbor, arbor, arbor. Nice.